Yeah, it's Saturn time. The Saturn's hooked up. The Satiator is plugged in. Bulk Slash has been loaded. So Bulk Slash is uh, a game that was never translated or ported to the West, which is the story for many Saturn games. Many of them did not. But the different story for Bulk Slash is because is that only a few days ago, a uh, fan translation was released for the public to devour. And here it is, which we will now consume it now. So I hope you're ready for uh, you're ready for your for the, for your hot your blood to become hot. You're ready for the hot blooded two-fisted mech action where we will have to exceed our limits uh and maybe kiss a girl uh, you know you know the mech thing you know the the mech how it works with the mechs you have to become one with the mech you have to exceed all limitations uh break the unbreakable all that kind of thing and then there are girls uh we will choose a girl we'll just start at the game we'll just see what here's bulk slash very triumphant music so this is not like the sad morose introspective kind of mech this is the um i am going to blow up many robots and maybe planets with this mech uh this mech which is the extension of my burning soul here's the story There we go. We have our anime, we have our mechs, we have a variety of girls. There was some text that was kind of hard to read scrolling across the, the screen. It was talking about the MISS system, M-I-S-S, -S, which refers to the girls who, are, who will be our navigators. Which girl do you want to be your navigator? You can choose. What options do we have? Well, we can choose uh, the difficulty level. We'll probably go with normal. We go go with hard or easy if you want. Stereo controller. Yeah, I'm using a controller. This game uh, was also given support for the twin sticks that was used with Virtual On, and uh, that does seem like that would probably be a pretty good use for the twin sticks. I do not have those. Sound test? Sure, this game has it. Visual bonus? Nothing there now. We'll read a bit more about what the visual bonus is uh i do the game did come with the translated manual so we can read about that but let's just get right to the game and just see what we're what we're doing here all right stage select uh so there are seven stages we can pick from the first three to begin with there's grun gold and brawn might as well just go with stage one, I suppose. Intel shows the Ku army is building a walking assault craft on this planet. Destroy the power supply pods throughout the city to, sh to throw a little wrench into their plans. So this is Tachikawa. He's giving us our intel. So it's where we're going to start. And we have a, var a variety of targets we need to destroy. Oh, and Miss Personnel should be headed that way, so pick her up on site if you spot her. All right, let's go. Let's start a mission. 
this game seems ex like basically the embodiment of the Saturn. Look at this. Look at what this game looks like. Also, there's our, there's the miss. There's our navigator. Leone Rhodes, Sergeant First Class Reporting. I'm here to help, Chris. Yeah, we want to, want her to be our navigator. Apparently, you can find uh, a different navigator in each level, and you have the option to either replace your current one or keep your current one. Launching operation. Straight ahead. All right, so she's going to tell us what direction to go. Um, so, I use the L and R bumpers to move the camera. I can move around with D-pat. Oh, sorry about that. Getting hit. I know, she wants me to go... Want me to go that way. So we can, like, turn into a jet. We can do that. I can't stop moving forward as a jet, so a little difficult to control. To the left. Like, if we have a lot of distance to work with, then being a jet is a bit more usable. But uh, as it is, once we get into close combat, I'm probably just going to... Yeah, just going to turn back into robot mode. Sorry. There's my target throw bombs at it. I think I also... Uh, target's destroyed. She is very impressed. Like, oh, gold medal. Got a gold medal. I think I also have a sword if I'm close up to an enemy. Yeah, there we go. I have a big old anime sword. It, really, we're in a mech. Of course we're gonna have a sword. So, there are other, like, turrets and such we can... Be sorry. That we can attack. I don't know. Doesn't seem like we have to do that. Oh, she wants me to go this way. I don't think we have to kill all these other enemies, just the just the targets. I mean, I assume I get more points and such if I kill all the enemies, but... So there is a story to this. The manual goes into more in depth. Straight ahead. But there's like ex explanations as to what's going on and why we're doing any of this. Nearing target. Straight ahead. His big walker over here. Wow! I salute you. Ah! To the left. Ah! Target destroyed. Remaining two targets. To the left. It is extremely anime, but it is a visual it's a very striking game visually. So it's a little surprising thinking about that they wouldn't have wanted to localize it, but I mean, maybe maybe they just thought that the big colorful style just wouldn't resonate with western audiences at the time, I suppose. To the left. Straight ahead. Oh, uh, uh, flamethrowers. She was very impressed with how I threw that bomb. One the oh, sorry, the music is getting very triumphant. Nearing target, straight ahead to the rear. Straight ahead. Oh, wow. Recovered. Mission complete. I'm picking up a bogey. Oh no! A extremely large. A extremely large bogey. Here it is. Live footage. This is happening right now. It's in the city. Well, it is to the left. Let me 
get in the air. A little bit, little distance, maybe. To the right. Don't actually know if I can fight it on the ground. It is very big. It's, it's my first day. To the rear. I know. Ah! Hey, ah! We're all right. To the rear. Ah! We're all right. Ah! Ah! Hang in there. Probably don't want to be underneath it when it does that. Couldn't have done it without my navigator. So it seems that a thing about the game Please select the stage. is that the more time you spend with a navigator, the closer your relationship will become. So do we want to stick with our navigator or do we want to get another one? Well, let's go to stage two gold. This planet has few resources, so the Ku's army sure to have a tight watch on those fuel tanks. Let's give them a mess to clean up. Supposedly, Pop Sensation Lyra Hart is in town. That's the potential second navigator. Given the situation, I doubt that concert's gonna happen. Well, I guess she performs on stage as well as potentially will be a navigator for this weapon of war. Launching operation. Straight ahead. All right. So, when we began the first level, the miss was right there in front of us. Doesn't seem to be the case here. Oh, there's, there's a big sign showing her. See, there she is. Oh, sorry. I'm starstruck. Just looking around. I know uh, it's pointing us towards the tar. Oh, is that a shield? Is that a force field? Okay, the force field's down. Target destroyed. Remaining four targets. But I, do I want to destroy all the targets before finding the miss? To the rear. So many signs. To the right. Advertising Lyra Hart. I wonder if the miss might appear on the mini-map. Like, you can see different colored dots on that mini-map. And we know, like, the, um... We know that the, um, the targets be show up as, like, larger blue circles. Straight ahead. We could also go up. Get a bird's-eye view and see if we see anything. Oh, is there, like, stage up here? Okay, so this isn't just, like, a... This isn't, like, just a 2D plane. To the rear. We actually could go over that wall. To the left. Oh, wait, there's a, a pink circle. There's a pink circle. Hold on. Change? I, st I think she's entirely qualified to be our navigator. Off we go. And I guess, I guess we just left our first navigator just uh, here in the city. Sorry, there's only there's only one seat. We don't have room for more than one navigator. We're right near the target. 
We are. Oh. To the right, maybe, she says. She doesn't sound entirely confident. Whoop, not that. Oh, there it is. There are many guns around that target. She's ha Lira Hart is having second thoughts about being the navigator here. But isn't that the story about war? You go into war saying, yeah, war is going to be great. I'm all for war. And then, you know, a few episodes in, you're like, war is actually not great. See, Lyra Hart is speed running the, lesson, the anime lessons of war. Not entirely sure why it seems like we can shoot things that are not enemies, like signs and such. Unfortunately, unfortunately, she did indeed die. What are we gonna do now? Yay! Lucky us! Lucky! We have continues! Gotta pick a stage! Well, it's a continue, but I guess we do have to redo the stage. I guess the continue is that you don't you know, lose your progress on the stages that you completed. But we do keep the navigator that we met in the stage. Something big to 
just showed up. What do we do? Okay, second attempt at large insect ship. Looks like left. Did it. She was getting quite sassy during uh during the boss fight. Mm -hmm. I could get used to this. Yeah, I'm thinking of a career change. I was a singer, but I was thinking of getting maybe becoming a navigator and a military fighter. Never thought about going into that profession. Alright. Stage three brawn. We received an SOS signal. It seems the royal family's escape craft is surrounded by coup forces. Please, find some way to escort them to safety. Gee, I'm a little worried about Her Highness, the Princess. I guess that would be the, uh, the navigator for this level. Let's keep an eye out for that pink icon. Oh, there it is. Isn't that it up there? How do you do? I am Metical Flag. Might I trouble you to tag along? Hi, Metical. Yes, uh, Lena, you're gonna have to get off here. Let us be off. Onwards. Hope these navigators that we're dropping off, I hope they're, they're all right. You don't disappoint. We're nearing a target. Onwards. Shield recovered.
documents are in order. To the rear! Shield recovered! Shield recovered! Fire blaster! Onwards! Oh no, I was not able to s oh, did I save it? It's exploding. Oh no, I did it. Okay. I thought it looked like it was blowing up. Looks like... I like that it ha apparently had its arms crossed. It is not impressed with me. You know what they say? That sometimes the best defense is a good offense. That's the spirit. I feel that should have been a draw. Something's coming. Make sure you put the, the hand in front of the mouth when you do it. All right. All right. Stage, her stage, her kingdom, uh, of which she is the princess, is safe. I And the ship escaped. Um, moving on to stage four, Schwartz. And, of course, a new navigator as well. So it looks like we get three more stages after we do the first three. So, seven, I guess, is the final one. It seems so far like a pretty short game, but my understanding is that you're supposed to replay it a whole bunch. Um, I mean, we'll just see how this goes as we continue. The Ku Army is executing a major landing operation in this sector. Your only hope here. You're our only hope here. The asteroid mining operation has bombs on site. Get them to the enemy's battleships' weak points. That hot shot lieutenant is on a solo mission in that sector. If she weren't so bullheaded, I'd... Oh, never mind. All right, got to find the hot shot lieutenant.
Let us feel. Onwards. I hear bombs. All right, what's go what's happening up there in the night sky? What what is what is that? To the rear. Hold on a second. Let's get on this platform. Now, how many places could there be for the miss to be to be hanging out? I, I don't see like a pink circle on the map. To our right. Oh wait, hold on. There's like an island. There's some islands over here. There it is. There it is. Oh, fell off. Uh, uh, get on. Get no. Uh, get, okay. There. Uh, there we go. You nitwits. Shield recovered. To the rear. Okay. Lieutenant Naira Savage reporting. Pick me up, pilot. Hi, Naira. All right. Get, we're just gonna drop the uh, the princess off on top of this spaceship. Deploy, Corporal. On the left. Oh, actually, I don't. I guess I don't need to be in jet form to like go into space, or like you know just move around in space. Seems to be the case. On the left. Straight ahead. Okay, so mention ahead. what I have to do with bombs. Get them to the weak point. And we did see- we started off in an area with a bunch of bombs around us. Well, let's see. You claim? Shield recovered. Back it up. Let's see, what- Wake up, Corporal. Well, at least we'll start at the beginning point. Wise decision. Right. Bombs on site. Get them to the weak points. Deploy, Corporal. Right, here are bombs. Back it up. What do we do with the bombs? Back it up. Oh, okay. There. There we go. Bomb armor. We have bomb armor. On the right. <laughs> Straight ahead. Straight ahead. All right, bomb armor does have health. Okay, bomb exploded. Bomb exploded. Okay, so bomb armor has health. Got to make sure bomb does not explode. Before we make it to the to the objective point. Straight ahead. Back it up. On the left. It's very easy for the bomb to take damage though. Doesn't have that much health. Shield recovered. Target's getting close. On the left. Okay, do I fly into it? Set. Yes. Ready to go. Okay. It's it's just fly into that box with the bomb. Straight ahead. Back 
pick it up. Straight ahead. <gasps> yep, I... That bomb exploded. You know what, I'm... Straight ahead. Are the bombs replenishing? Back it up. Or is, is there a finite number of bombs? I do not know. On the left. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Well, I'll be damned. Target's getting. <laughs> we were almost there. We almost got there, but no. Got to go get the bomb. Get a replacement bomb. Shield recovered. Straight ahead. Back it up. Target's getting close. Straight ahead. Target set. That leaves. Two to go. Straight ahead. All right. <gasps> Got to put two more bombs in two more boxes. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Back it up. That did not take much to destroy that bomb. Straight ahead. Back it up. Straight ahead. <laughs> you believe? You believe? <laughs> Stay cool. Straight ahead. Back it up. Straight ahead. Ah, bomb's gone. Oh, there's the tart. It's, it's there. Wake up, Corporal. Moving gear. Wise decision. Target's getting close. Straight ahead. Well, I'll be damned. Target set. That leaves one to go. Ah! <gasps>
on the right. We've got a massive bandit on our scopes. Stay frosty now. Oh no, a cloaked ship. I mean, it's not cloaked now. Straight ahead. Yeah, I can, I can see it straight ahead. Back it up. This one, it's pretty, pretty clear where this one is. We did the thing. It didn't seem like uh, we were defending a planet. It was just sort of out in the middle of space. We put the bombs in the boxes. And th now we have rot. We have to deal with rot. We've got intel that the Ku Army has a weapons research and development plant on this planet. The facility is six floors deep. And you'll need to find five ID cards to reach the very bottom. Good luck. Okay, I guess uh, we're going actually going into a building. Our, our big robot has to find ID cards to unlock doors, I guess? What the? It's supposed to be unmanned, but we're getting a bio reading. Be careful. Well, I assume the bio reading would be the navigator that we'll, that we'll find in here. Deploy, Corporal. 
On the left. Blaster. Straight ahead. Back it up. Well, I'll be down. Look at you go. <laughs> Back it up. Shield recovered. Now, of course, before we actually complete the mission. Okay, yeah, we we there there is there are huge elevators that are able to uh, contain our mech. Before we complete the mission, of course, we do have to find the miss. This this seems like it might be a little harder to find than previous levels because we can't we can't just fly around and look at the environment. Yeah. Look at you go. That's the ID card, isn't it? Secure. Yeah. That leaves. Four to go. Jump on platforms? Can we, like, get to higher places? Oh, let's first do this. Target secured. That leaves. Ready to go. Shield recovered. Napalm blaster. Well, it doesn't seem like we can get any higher than this. I mean, we can still turn into the jet in here if we wanted to go to higher places. It doesn't seem like there's anything up there. Oh, I see the pink circle. Pink circle is here. There's the miss. Right, how do we do this? Back it up. Oh, almost was almost there. There we go. You're going to Blau, right? You're my ride. Name's Ruby or Rude. I'll even let you hate. All right, Rupia. I guess we're going to Blau, as far as I know. Let's get. It's behind us. Keep going straight. Ah! Shield recovered. Wow. 
she is very impressed with the explosions. Keep going straight. Got it. At least one of them. Okay, I guess we missed a key. Would that be the key for it from the first floor? Did we miss that one? Keep going straight. The target's close by. Keep going straight. Let's show them what for. All right, here's the first key card. It's the one should have gotten before leaving the first floor. But we have it now. That's what matters. Can we get this done today? Fortunately, we were able to get this done today. And it ain't no small fry. I mean, we have not we've not gotten it done today yet. We may still not yet get it done today. Keep going straight. It's a. Uh, I don't know what the how to describe that. It's spinning. It's spinning. Hmm. Well, so far it's not hurting it. Okay, that bomb hit it. Maybe I need to hit the upper half of it. Let's show what for. We almost got it done today. Keep 
it together. Something's coming, and it ain't no small fry. Oh, a second phase. We didn't expect that. It's a mechanical spider that is birthing baby mechanical spiders. Keep going straight. Keep it together. by baby spiders. Hey. It's probably enough for our look for right now. It's a very interesting game. Uh, I would have definitely wanted to have played this once at the time when it had come out. But of course, this was not going to come out at that time. I mean, not. Dang, don't you? it's not just on the Saturn, of course. But uh, like any platform... They would have been frightened of the anime. That's not just a Sega thing, that's just like everyone. That's your name? Would have What's been would have been frightened. Frightened of the anime. That is our look at Bulk Slash. Um, but we do have a manual to look at if you're interested in knowing more about the story. Uh, why don't we get some, like, music playing? As for some manual reading music. And that sounds like it's probably okay. Alright, let's have a look at this manual. See what the story of Bulk Slash is about. There we go. It's a Sega Saturn exclusive, Bulk Slash, The Chronicle of Garjewel. 
You didn't know that was the subtitle, but it is. That's the robot there. Okay, there's us in the middle, and around us are the ladies. Which one do you like? Maybe you get to kiss a lady? I mean, isn't that... Isn't that what you want? You want to get in the big robot and save the world? Maybe kiss a lady? Like, maybe that'll happen? T for Teen. Published by Hudson. Warning, read before using your video game system. And handling your compact disc. Of which, of course, you have. Her voice is your only hope. Bring a beautiful navigator on board your transforming vehicle. Guard... Duel. I guess that's that's our robot. Our robot is guard duel. Oh, because it's a guard, but it's a it has dual forms. It has two forms, so guard duel. It's some delicious wordplay. Save the solar system. All right, let's have a look. Book slashes for one player. Wait, plug in control pad one for two player games. Plug in control pad two also. Note book slashes for one player. What an odd instruction. Telling you how do you start how do you start up your Saturn? Okay, what is bulk slash? That is the question. The player's mission in this game is to clear seven stages and get the passwords to stop the coup d'etat from blowing up the planet. A 3D shooting action game. Defeat wave after wave of enemies in a sprawling 3D world. That's the name of the game. Players control a transforming mech capable of switching between two modes. Wage exhilarating battles in the city streets in robot mode or take to the skies for white knuckled dog fights in plane mode. The boss's appearance is exciting too. Just letting you know, you'll be excited by the appearance of these bosses. An unbelievable number of enemies. Massive onslaughts of enemies mean you're always in the heat of the battle. No time to relax. Transform, traverse, fight, and dodge your way through each stage, clearing missions as quickly as possible. I I think it's a believable number. I I felt like uh, my brain did not have too much of a problem comprehending the number of enemies appearing on screen. This is how I personally feel. Dazzling cinematics. Stages are loaded with cinematic special effects. Watch searchlights illuminate darkened areas and experience unique climate conditions on each planet, from heavy rain to snow. Oh, that, that didn't happen yet. This may even play your play tactics. We didn't get any, like, weather conditions happening in e each of these stages. Maybe later. The partner navigation system. Seek out the heroic female navigators hidden in each mission and try to beat the game with your favorite partner by your side. A good partner will be essential to traversing the 3D world as efficiently as possible while taking out the enemy. But be warned, these partners start out pretty green. Helping them grow into the role is your second most critical mission. Well, it is true that um, we only had our navigator with us for... Each navigator was only with one mission, so they never got to grow into the role. Okay, the story. Now we're talking. Let's learn about the the backstory and the lore. Ahem. The Great War played out across three worlds, finally drawing to a close with the fall of the fascist planet Blau. The two victorious planet states formed a coalition government, executing Blau's top officials as war criminals and dispersing its people across the solar system to prevent the recurrence of a coup. The nightmare seemed over, ushering in a new era of peace. Oh, but what happened? For the displaced people of Blau, however, the nightmare continued. Despite having equal rights in the, in the eyes of the law, they constantly met all manner of discrimination, from slander to threats to all-out violence. For the people of Blau, the war was far from over. This harsh and constant discrimination also befell a young girl named Rhysyn Lavia, who had immigrated to the planet Grun after the execution of her father, a high-ranking Blau official. Rhysyn's sole salvation was Chris Dooley, the boy who stood up for her at every turn, and indeed, the only person f for whom she could open up or show a smile. She hoped their whole wholesome, untinged friendship would last forever, but... Looking at Chris's eyes here, I think we know it could never last untinged. There was going to be tinged at some point. 25 years after the Great War. 
The declaration of a coup d'etat was sudden. Former Blau military chief Alois Gardner consolidated the remnants of his planet's forces to erect a rebel army and use the... Spatfest. An apoc apocalyptic weapon capable of destroying entire planets to take Blau and its approximately 3.2 billion inhabitants hostage. Among those who vowed to serve in the coup was Reese and Lavia. Oh no, not our childhood friend. Filled with anger over her father's execution and desperate to end her people's suffering. Wasting no time, the coalition government established an elite task force to avert the detonation of the Spatfest. Their mission was to thwart the coup by acquiring seven passwords Gardner had hidden inside Guardian weapons across the so solar system. The operation was dubbed Bulk Slash. Appointed to the task force, Chris took to the cockpit with a burning drive to uphold his duty. He was determined to subdue the coup army and pacify their ultimate weapon. Never did he imagine the bittersweet reunion fate had in store. Okay, here's the control pad layout. All right, so it sounds like our childhood friend is a member of the coup d'etat and Chris is gonna have to have a tearful uh, conflict with her at some point could he will he be able to bring himself to pull the trigger only you can find out twin sticks if you have twin sticks use them getting started you put the CD in the Saturn and press the power button on. Then there's a title screen. Press start and press C button. You don't do anything. The opening cinematic will commence. So if you have saved data, you'll be able to select a navigator from those you have unlocked before beginning the game. So does that mean that once you unlock a navigator, can you like redo the earlier levels with those navigators? You know, to get, you know, get them experienced and to increase your relationship level. If you're playing for the first time, you'll be taking you to the stage select screen. Only one to three are available. Here's the heads up display. Items, Fire Blaster, Bazir Blaster, Napalm Blaster, Metal, Gold Bars, Shield Recovery 1, 2, and Max. What do, where do you think we store those gold bars? We gotta store them somewhere in the Garduel. Do we have just like a compartment for all the gold bars? It seems like that would add a lot of unnecessary weight to the Garduel. The Miss. If you have a navigator, you can press X, Y, or Z to automatically face the boss. That is that would that is useful. That would be useful, yes. Pressing C button in plane mood toggles between your speeds. Hold the B button, use D-pad to aim the direction of your attacks. You can use bombs and homing missiles to create chain explosions. Always have a navigator with you. Of course, be friendly and take good care. Do you have an option there? Can you not be friendly? Because it didn't seem like I was able to actually uh, interact with her. So I, I don't know if we can be rude or anything. I mean, we did drop... Every time we got a navigator, we would end up dropping them off to pick up a new one. And that's pretty rude, but don't know if that means... If that, if that counts. Listen carefully to the navigator's directions. Move in flight form to save target time and head straight to the target. Destroy targets from a distance to reduce damage. They can be found on buildings or in enemy territory. In boss battles, slow down. Don't attack unnecessarily. Follow the six, these six points. You'll clear each mission with ease. Okay, the partner system. Let's talk about this. We fight together. We suffer together. And we share in the glory. That's what partners are for. 
There's more to bulk slash than just shooting things. The heroic female partners riding beside you and a whole new add a whole new layer to the fun. Each one is part of the coalition government's MIS program, the manageable intelligent support system. That's it. That seems like a stretch. It's just a navigator. It's not like a computer or anything. It's just here's a person we're gonna put in the sh in the thing with you. Stage one: to stop the planet's bla the pla the planet Blau's imminent. I keep laughing at Blau. I don't know why. The planet Blau's imminent annihilation. Chris must destroy the walking assault craft at the end of the stage to obtain a password. Staff Sergeant Leonie Rhodes is already waiting near the stage entrance to help Chris. Touch the icon marked Miss. Leonie will appear. She'll provide navigation support. When you take damage, so does the partner. Try as she may to maintain her composure, a particularly nasty hit may cause her to shriek in pain, so take care. We just want you to know, if you take a hard hit, she's gonna shriek in pain. We want you, we want you to be animated that very, very carefully. <sighs> A little advice. The conditions for leveling up to leveling up vary from one navigator to the next. Your romantic affinity may rise by achieving chain combos or collecting lots of items. These parameters are hidden. Okay, so mystery parameters. How do you level these navigators up? Changes from one to another, who can say? There are six, or is it seven? Possible partners in the game, including Leone, one hit in each stage. You're free to choose whether or not to swap out partners as you find each one. Find your favorite and stick with her. If you can stick it out through the final battle, a happy ending awaits. What to do after clearing the game? After clearing all stages, you may be treated to a unique ending for the navigator accompanying you. That's not all. You also... Okay, here we go. With, I mentioned the visual bonus on the menu. You get to view one of three visual bonuses, depending on your romantic affinity level, with that navigator. Whichever navigator is with you when you clear the game will maintain her level progress, so you might try taking her out again to further level her up. Any visual bonus you have viewed will be saved to your file automatically, and that can be viewed again in the options menu. So that's right. Find your favorite navigator, level her, level her up, and she might let you look at her visual bonus. I'm not sure if this is one of the visual bonuses. Do you, if you max out your relationship with one of them, is this the visual bonus? You get married afterwards? Possibly. Characters. All right, let's get into these character bios. The characters in Bulk Slash include the hero, the player character, and the heroine, as well as six or seven navigation partners. First... Chris Dooley, age 19, gender, male. Voice actor, Takahito Koyasu, Japanese. Jonathan Boncher, English. In reverence to his father, a military mechanic, Chris enlisted in hopes of trying out dad's craftsmanship firsthand, in quotes. Though hardly the best pilot in the solar system, he embarks upon his mission boldly and with a deep-seated righteousness. That's right. He's he's absolutely hot blooded. He has to do it for dad and his legacy. Risen Lavia, age 19, gender, female, voice actor, Yuri Amano, Japanese, Luzin, English. Following her father's execution as a war criminal, Reason joins the coup d'etat army led by her father's old friend, Gardner. Reason's cold, emotionless visage is a mask to protect her from the discrimination she endures. In truth, she was kind and gentle as they come, which might be a problem if she's, you know, a pilot as part of the coup d'etat forces. Kind and gentle is not going to get you very far in that. Meet the navigators. These seven young women serve as your partners. Or I thought it was six or maybe seven young women serve as your partners. Their voice is informing you of enemy and target locations. Each navigator has her own unique way of supporting you, but be warned! At low levels, their navigation may leave something to be desired. Well, that's fine. My piloting skills also leave something to be desired, so it's, you know, it's okay. We'll support each other. Leonie Rose, age 16, gender female, birthday July 4th. I mean, this, she, she's not American. She's from Blau, but it's a very, very patriotic birthday. Occupation SDF. Home planet Grun. 
Voice actor Miki Nagasawa, Japanese. Edo Bean, English. Born into a military family spanning generations of service, Leone is an elite soldier with a promising future. Popular among her peers, she is a reliable navigator, despite her youth. There she- yep, she's waving high. Metical? Metical Flair. Age 16, gender female. Birthday, March 3rd. Occupation Princess, Home Planet Brawn. Voice actor, Michiko Neya, Japanese. Dark Misty, English. Eldest daughter to the royal family of Planet Grun. Whether a result of her upbringing or innate personal trait, she is the epitome of conceit in both word and action. Lyra Hart, age 18, gender female, birth birthday, October 1st, occupation, idol, home planet, gold, voice actor, Kyoko Akami, Japanese, Erin Leaf, English, became a pop star as an act of rebellion against her parents who only showed affection to her brother, that's right, mom and dad, you never loved me, I'm gonna become an idol, we need to get a game about her backstory. Because she's not a soldier, her ability as a navigator is rather shaky. Uh, I thought she did a good of a job as anyone else. Naira Savage, age 22, gender female, birthday February 6th. Occupation is the F home planet Schwartz. Voice acting I or Kasa, Japanese, Rachel, English. Chris is superior officer. Oh, they already knew each other then. Though skilled enough to put her male peers to shame and execute even the most demanding task with ease, Naira has a fixation with baths and spends nearly half her time in the tub. Hey, that's all right. You know, if you have to, if you, if you, if you have the time, just spend it in the tub. Nothing wrong there. Rupia Rude, age 20, gender female, birthday October 6th, occupation thief home planet rot voice acting naoko matsui japanese diana aloko english rupia's cool manner belies an extremely cautious personality descended from a long lines of the long line of thieves she believes thievery is the most sensible vocation one can occupy hey you know as you get older you tend to come to that same conclusion too colin steiner okay we didn't meet her Age 19, gender female, birthday, April 1st. Occupation, the SDF, home planet Vice. Voice actor Yuko Mizutani, Japanese, uh, Saskia, English, slash Spanish, slash German. Has experience beyond her years and a knack for wit, but when she remembers her painful past, she often falls into a depression. Wow, the most relatable of the navigators. Look, we can't. We can't both be in depression here, Colin. We can't, like, be, be a couple of sad sacks here in the robot. One of us has to be able to motivate the other. Mystery girl. Age unknown. Gender female. Birthday unknown. Occupation unknown. Home planet unknown. Voice acting Satomi Kurogi. Japanese. Crouching mouse. English. Possesses superior navigational ability to all under navigators. Because of her horrendously tragic childhood, she occasionally exhibits strange behavior. Man unknown. You gotta get it together. Stop exhibiting this strange behavior. You gotta put your horrendously tragic childhood behind you. I'll also, considering the size of you, I think your childhood is still ongoing. Like, that's the present. So this is like very- the horrendousness is very recent, I assume. Also, uh, you may have noticed all of the navigators named after pro wrestlers. Why? I don't know. What's the deal with that? Steiner, Rude, Savage, Heart. Flair and Rhodes. Uh, why, do, why do that? I don't know. I don't think there's I th just inspiration for the names. There doesn't seem to be a reason for that. Other characters. The world of Bulk Slash is full of characters, both friend or foe. These are some of the people who are the most relevant to your mission. Michio Tachikawa, a member of the SDF support staff. Michio and Chris Dooley are friends outside the cockpit, but when they're on duty, 
He briefs Chris on his upcoming mission objectives. He knows there's a history between Chris and Reese and Lavia. Alice Gardner, the mastermind behind the rebel uprising against the solar system's ruling governments, Gardner, with his right-hand man Gahalt, is looking for revenge after his planet Blau lost the Great War years earlier. He threatens the people who now live on Blau with a super weapon called the Spatfest. King Flair, I guess that, yeah, we already knew about Flair. The sovereign leader of the kingdom of Braun. If Gardner decides the king is a threat, Flair will be forced to flee his planet, and he'll need SDF escorts to help. He feels very protective over his teenage daughter, Metical. I don't know, I don't, I don't think that's really a face that gives you much confidence in your king. Be immersed in the drama. This game is actually very deep. It has a, it has a proper a storyline. That's why it's important to complete missions. Below is a diagram of the human relationships surrounding the main character, Chris Dooley. <laughs> Look at this diagram. <laughs> Illustrating uh, the relationships Chris has with a variety of people. He is only courteous to the navigators, it seems. You look in the upper right. Courteous is only... That's all that's there. Um, he has a love uh, towards Reason, and Reason has a faint love towards him. If you play with this relationship diagram in mind, the ending of Bulk Slash will be a moving experience. Oh, now. Now I need to know. I need to know about the moving experience. Chris may be liked by all his navigators, not just Reason, but there's something fishy going on with the heroine. I'm, didn't we establish that she's working for the coup army? Like, I, I figure the fishy thing is that she's on the other side, right? We have to fight her? That's what it sounded like. Here are the credits. And the special thanks and the limited warranty. Survive the streets of Neo City. There's an advertisement at the end of this manual. Death Mask. Detranslation project. I do not know what this is. Winter 2021. I mean... I, if winter... Uh, that's... Only a few days left in that, honestly. Not, not a whole lot of time for what this might be. I don't know if this is something that came out or if it's something still in development. Well, anyway, that is our look at the manual. Book slash the Chronicle of Garduel. That is Garduel right there. And, um, yeah, I, I do want to continue this and see what the moving ending is. It's like I said, if you want to see all the content, it seems like you do have to play this a number of times because, well, there's different visual bonuses for the different navigators depending on who you beat the game with and it looks like that there are different romance levels that will affect the visual bonus that you get with the navigator so how many times would you actually have to beat this oh it's i think it said there were three romance levels so if there are three romance levels, and if there are seven navigators, do you have to beat 20, the game 21 times to get all of the visual bonuses? That's what it sounded like, but I don't know if that's the case. Uh, I, I will not be beating the game 21 times, but um, I would like to see how, uh, how this ends. I want to experience the moving ending. I need to figure out who my favorite navigator is. The manual explicitly told me I have to pick my favorite, right? Uh, I don't know who my favorite is yet. There's still navigators we have not seen, so I'm gonna have to fi figure out who, who my favorite is. So, that's, uh... Yeah, that's, that's been our start of Bulk Slash. And, uh, I'm sure we will be coming back to this. Also, Worked perfectly on the Satiator. You know, there were some points during Deep Fear 
where the game would lock up during FMVs. Um, no problems at all with this game, with the Satiator. So, seems like it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll continue. We'll, we'll go back to this and, and continue this one at some point.